Okay, I made this little device when I first started experimenting with ionized gases, um, with gas tubes, and basically what it is is it's a homemade vacuum tube, a discharge tube, and what we have is uh, on each end of the tube we have an electrode that's sealed on here too, and we also have another tube here, and this has a valve, and what we do is hook this up to a hand-operated vacuum pump and we pump out the air from the tube and we connect the electrodes to a source of high voltage and what ends up happening is we get a stream, a bright purple stream to go through the entire length of the tube. It's actually a stream of cathode rays. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to a 15 kilovolt neon transformer and you can actually see how it works. Okay, here we have the vacuum tube hooked up to the transformers and we're about to pump down the air and then uh, go ahead and switch on power to the transformers. Okay, here I have the vacuum pump hooked up to the uh, vacuum tube and then I've already pumped out the air. Let me see if I can zoom in. You can actually see the gauge. Uh, you can see that it's holding the vacuum pressure. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the vacuum pump and close the valve uh, and then we're going to hook up the transformers and switch on the power. Okay, I've got to be quick about this because the tube's going to get hot. I don't know if you can actually see that, it's glowing. Okay, here we have the same setup uh, with the vacuum tube hooked up to the high voltage transformers. Except this time what we're going to do is, instead of putting the tube directly across one transformer, um, when I did that last time, I had both transformers on, so we're actually getting 60 milliamps. Uh, the tube got a little bit too hot, so we're not going to do that again. What we're doing this time is we're actually transmitting the power from one transformer to another, and the tube is actually going between the two. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, we have the vacuum pump hooked up, we have the air pumped out. So I'll go ahead and close the valve, um, disconnect the pump, and then switch on the transformer. You can definitely hear the transformer coming. And that's actually the uh, cathode rays in the tube there. Um, it's important to note that if we didn't pump out the air, um, if we just left the tube open and hooked it up to the transformer, nothing would happen. So the reason that stream is forming is because we've rarefied the air. There's less resistance, so cathode rays can form. And I think that's probably good enough. We'll go ahead and turn the power off. 